What's happening folks and welcome to another episode of Stars of Tomorrow in FM23 series where we look at Young Tan on Foot Major and we see how they get on the course of their careers, how, how, how they develop before you make that big purchase yourself. Both players I find find and I'm curious about, also players that you give me in the comments section and this is one of those players today from the comments, Archie Gray. But before we get into that the video hit that like button down below and subscribe for daily fm content on the channel down below the fifa channel and also my let's play channels as well go check those out down below so today i said actually great leeds united player uh, obviously um english a lot of potential in him could be a lot of money but strictly you can see the competition one million pound we'll get to that in a second so as you see obviously midfielder could be set the mid maybe dm maybe amc um very good technical stats already for a 16 year old with the first touch, passing and technique or 13 and um, dribbling at 11. Metal's not a terrible either and physically I think he's going to be a very very strong physical player. Interesting for Man City um, but we've obviously, we get approached to signing straight away. Um, fortunately, um, he won't want to leave the club early on, that's disappointing. Uh, but there's a competition of £1 million if he w we win through the club. Uh, I've done a scout report for you guys for him. Uh, as you can see, um, we've got one and a half star current ability, four star potential, uh, maybe five star. His ability max he can get get to is 180, which is what I've set it at. Um, obviously, if you're in a Premier League club like Man United, for example, um, it might be hard to get him out of Leeds if he decides to leave because obviously Leeds United won't want to sell to a rival but he can play a variety of different roles no player, no player traits on him right now he's got a very strong a very strong left foot and a very strong right foot so basically double fit, double double footed two footed uh, not double footed and again we'll see how these stats develop across his career get an idea based on the fact he's got good passing good technique playmaker Mazala um, or yeah, was probably what I'm going to go for. But we'll see what happens when we, when, we, when we go through the review. So, first jump. Let's go. All right, folks. So now he's still in July, 21 years old. 20 years old, sorry. 31 million pounds and 92 valuation. Obviously, we haven't done a scout report on him in this, in this scenario because obviously we're not at a club. And again, the technicals, dribbling, first touch, long shots, passing and technique are all looking good at 20 years old mentally mental stats not really changing that much physically he's slowly increasing as well which we expect at this point in his career so injury record um again he's not injury prone but again um i show us for the sake of showing it really it, it's it just in case you, you know i don't every say is different of course but it's worthwhile showing you this just in case um he's a lot of injuries in him so clear stats so look so again i'm guessing not much not, not much first team football um, yeah, not much first in football yet, but he's slowly getting into the team. May have to subs bench at the moment, but he's slowly getting in there. And again, looking at the stats here, he, again, he can play anywhere in the midfield free. You want him for, I mean, you could play him anywhere, anywhere really. You could play him a deep line playmaker role, uh, advanced playmaker as well in there. If you have a deep line playmaker in CM if you want to. And definitely maybe a attacking midfielder, um, as well, because he's got long shots of 12. So he's kind of versatile, uh, in, in, various positions in the, in the midfield area so I would say it's a really good uh, player that you can mould into what you want to do now let's look at the contract information here there is um, no release clause in here which again is not a big surprise given that it's a deep English club don't often, I don't often see those obviously they do occasionally happen um, but yeah it's got yeah bear that in mind that there's no release clause in that contract so his valuation will go up um, Really nice player, like him a lot. He's already at 20 years old, got a lot of things I like. Um, I think the physical is going to go up massively very quickly. Mental looks really good as well. I think that's going to be something to keep an eye on in the next few, few years of our, of our jumps. And then technically, I suspect we're going to see the main three at a green here to keep increasing. And the rest, maybe a couple of make, a couple of these down here, like the corners or crossings, something like that. We might get the 10 12, well, but we'll have to wait and see. So. Let's see if he gets in the first team, and if he does, it does that affect, hopefully that affects his stats and we can get a much better improvement out of him. Right, folks, so now he's 24 years old and he's still at Leeds United. The mentals are going up a little bit and the technicals have really stayed the same, but he's still not reached his potential yet. He's still not reached 180s or 129, so still a bit of jump to go yet. We've got some player traits on him now, which are interesting. We've got get forward wherever he can, try killer balls, plays one twos, 
dictates tempo and like switch ball to wide area. So again, leaning more towards a playmaker position. Um, the long shots on him are not terrible. They are 12 at this point. I think there'll be a jump suddenly, a big jump with these very quickly. So injury record again, there's only one injury for two months, which was disappointing, but you know, it's not the end of the world. So has he been getting first in football? Well, not up until like 28, 29, where he basically got sub appearances, but he is slowly working his way into the team more. Um, obviously, I think he needs more football quickly. Still not, still not really closing his contract. But yeah, again, the main push side of this guy is the versatility of the player. Definitely more of a playmaker or I don't think you say a goal scorer, but someone who takes the play, the passing technique, the long shots, the first touch and dribbling, obviously the highest one still. And again, these mental stats will increase pretty quickly. I want to get into I want I think he needs first team football pretty quickly. I think he'll, I think he's on the cusp on the cusp of getting it. But there's only really one way to find out, isn't there? Amazingly, he's still at Leeds United. I was convinced from a buying by, by now, but literally you can see, and I was interested interest in him from Arsenal and Newcastle. And again, we've seen mentals now increasing, which we thought they would at this point. Anticipation, composure, flair, and vision all 16, 15 all off the ball, and determination, decision making as well. Again, passing technique, again, leaning more to the vision as well, just leaning more towards that kind of playmaker role, in my opinion. Tactics here, as you can see, we've got basically the same stats on, the same traits on, sorry, but other than like ball in defeat and the frame taking long shots, which is not surprising given that he's only got 12. But they're playing more of a DM position, which is interesting. Injuries again, quick look at this. Not really concerning, is it really? Honestly, I don't think that's much of an issue. Then you go back to career stats. So is he, is he getting, now he's getting more versed in football now. So yeah, two assists that season. Then he's got four goals, five assists. Then he's got three and eight, and then he's got two and nine. But he's playing a DM role most of the season. Uh, well, well, practically all of it, really. So again, leaning towards that deep line playmaker role, dictating tempo, switching balls to the wings. He's the kind of guy that's going to control the midfield and maybe get a goal here and there and assist. I think is definitely something he can do. Now, I'm assuming no lease clause yet, no lease clause his contract. So interesting him now from uh, Arsenal and um, Newcastle. Will he move on to another club? That's the burning question. Do one more jump. I'm assuming these stats are going to stay roughly the same. I anticipate the metals to go a bit higher. Let's see if he gets double figures for goals or assists in one season or not. Well, he's 32 years old, guys, and the physical stats are going to be quite high, and also mental stats are still really good as well. And the main, and, the, and again, like I said, the main ones are the first touch, passing, and technique, and the rest of it kind of slowly rising up to like call of dribbling and finishing that kind of thing. Interestingly, now he's got a transfer agreed to go to Real Madrid. Um, at the end of his contract, I'm assuming, yes it is. Um, injury record, again, not terrible. Um, looking at his return at Leeds, wow, I've seen one thing there, I, I call my eye. Um, two goals and assists in the championship, he got 16 assists. And then Premier League again, got two goals and nine assists, got relegated again, got 16 goals in the championship, and then back in Premier League, got three and f five and six. Again, so obviously he's struggling in a, in a, in a, in a, team, in a Leeds team that's go up and down a little bit. But again, he's 32 years old, guys. We're not going to see much more increase in him, obviously, in La Liga. I could, I'm not going to go any further because we'll see drop-off we'll drop soon. So what I like about this guy is versatility. I think anywhere in the field three, you can play it, which is fantastic. Downside to him is he's limited, limited a little bit on his technical side um, because of you know the long shots, the finishing, dribbling, crossing. They're not amazing, but as a playmaker, I think he's fine. The only downside again could be that if you want to get into a Premier League club, it could be difficult given its leads, especially if like a Man United or an Arsenal or something like that. That could be difficult to get get him to join you, but. What you've got here is a midfield you can start if you if you're playing a, a fluid formation where you've got a DM, CM, and the AMC options and your midfield options like one formation has got it, one, one formation hasn't. You can slot you can slot, slot it anywhere. Definitely a good playmaker. Occasional goal as well and a lot of assists in especially in lower division at least anyway. So thank you mate for the suggestion. I hope I've done the video well for you get for you mate. If you've signed this guy in your save, how's it gone for you? And are you gonna sign now in your save because of this? This video 
next episode will be out when I get the video recorded. Until then, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed it, hit that like button down below. Subscribe to the channel as well. Down below is my FIFA channel and my Let's Play channels as well. Go check those out. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. But until next time, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.